Hi everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and I have the wonderful and fantastic chef Megan Horn from Breakwater, and uh, we have a lot of fun things to talk about today, actually. We do, we do. Dessert and wine. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can't go <laughs> not wrong. Much better, not yeah. much better than that. You're staying for the whole time, guys. You're not even going to turn the channel. So, um, we're going to start out with the creme brulee. Yes. A classic. Yes. Okay, tell me what's in it, because it looks like there are not very many fat-free things going on. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes you'll sweat it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is Gary's very easy, simple creme brulee recipe. Which is even better because yes. then this is, I don't know if you Simplicity. want to try it at home, but definitely it has just really good ingredients it in does. it, which makes it, does. it fantastic. So the basis are cream and eggs. But heavy cream. But heavy cream, yes. Heavy cream yes. is key. Heavy okay, cream so is heavy cream. cream and eggs. Yes. And then what's the sweetness? Just good old sugar. Sugar. Yes, ma'am. So it sounds so simple, doesn't it? But <laughs> if I go to a restaurant and order creme brulee, I'm like, ooh, I'm fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one-handed crack, whatever. It's like, oh. oh goodness! <laughs> <Hoppa>. <laughs> and she still does it with one hand. <laughs> All right, so we're just using good old what four four eggs here? Mm -hmm. The whole egg, not just the yolk. Correct. Um, so the whole thing we're using. All right. Give it a quick, quick scramble. All right. And this is something that um, you offer all the time in the restaurant. Yes. Okay, great. All right, then just add in your heavy cream. Good old heavy cream. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I want to dip French toast in it too. Just <laughs> yes, that so would be good. good. Things, right? That would be good. All right, then we do about a teaspoon of and vanilla. Vanilla. Any specific kind of vanilla? Does it? You know, I know there's so many out there. There's like Tahitian there's. vanilla, and all, that one is nope. a Gahara vanilla. Yep. No, Love just it. regular old vanilla extract will do fine. And not the spend the money on the extract, don't you think? Yes. Don't get yes. the um, the one that what is it? The it's like. Imitation vanilla. Imitation but, vanilla. But don't yes. spend the money. It's not no, worth it. No. You end up using twice as much and it doesn't even taste as good. Correct. Yes. Oh, you can smell that. So good. All right. You make it look so sick. So don't tell me that this is all you this do. This is it. What? <laughs> don't tell me that because I make yes. this all the time at home. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will be like, Mom, is it time to make fried Sure. Let's do it. All right. Then you just have your little, you can have any kind of baking dish okay, that will so fit. Okay. So this would just be like this a good old tart mm -hmm. or something yes. like that. Okay. Now this is actually something you could do, like oh, of course. for you, like mm -hmm. your guests. I know they yes. sell these like at Pier mm -hmm. One, very easy to get. Yes, um, and all individual size. Yes, just show that. I mean, I'm sure everyone probably has a few of those at their house. Yes. Um, okay, so this is something. You know, I guess we'll pour up here. So this we just put this. Yes. So right you want in there. to leave. Fill it about three quarters of the way full. It won't okay. rise. It's not rising. Yes. Okay, so wherever, is... however full you fill it, that's as full as it'll be. Now, for once those you of you it. who haven't had creme brulee, it's like a custard. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. that's what it, it's not going to be. It's like she said, it doesn't rise. It's not a cake Correct. because we haven't added any flour or yeast Correct. to it. But um, but it's going to be that nice, creamy, beautiful custard. Yes. Okay. So then, what do we do for it? All right, so um, after you fill as many dishes as you want to bake, right. um, the important aspect of baking a brulee, a creme brulee, is the water bath. Okay, so we would put this like in a pan. Yes, a bigger pan. With water. Yes. So obviously then the water is only going to come up how high on this? About no more than halfway. No more than halfway. So yes, really. So my, I guess your, my tip or my asking, we want to add the water after, like if we put this inside the pan. Yes. Oh, wanna, yes. <laughs> yes. I like it. Like, oops, <laughs> much water. Yes. Yes. So we'll put these in. Pick your dishes then in, we'll then add, add your water. water. Yes, ma'am. And is it hot water or is it cold? Water. Um, I've I've always used just regular old water. A lot right, of people right. say adding hot water, but it eventually will heat up in It'll the oven. Bit. And yes. then what do I bake it at in the oven? Um, we bake ours at 325 degrees so it's a for 45 lower. minutes. Oh, so it's a low and slow process yes. because you don't want it to become like scrambled eggs. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. And so, that's what the water bath helps with as and well. And that's what the water and that's important to do the water bath yes. because otherwise you will literally just be, be baking correct. eggs. Correct. Then you can make quiche. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a whole other quiche show. Brulee. Yeah, quiche brulee. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so after I do that, so this is let's just kind of set that aside. What do I know you brought a little finished yes, product I over did. here? And of course with this is just a plain creme brulee, you want right. to add fruit or anything to it, you can just go ahead and mix it in your Okay, so this than. is when would I add the fruit in? Because it is summertime. There's so it's so easily accessible to like berries, mm -hmm. all kinds of berries. Um would I add would I bake it in with it? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's put this up here so we can see it in the camera. All right, All right. this, this then, is the fun step. Yep. This and is when I would not try at home. Like, <laughs> I have to figure out a different way to do it. All right, then just pile your sugar on top, just like this that. This is just good old white sugar. Yes. And then just make sure you get an even coating. 
That is so awesome. I can't oh, believe how easy like that is. That recipe before you torch it up, which I love. Um, be about you used about four eggs. How correct. many did that probably? That's probably at least at four to six servings, yes, right? Yes, correct. So, and if you do smaller ones, that would be great Even, for a yep, party. Correct. Can I leave these out? Is no. this? Yeah, you can't. No. Leave. Okay, so if we're gonna serve it, you need to serve yes. it right there and then. And of course, you can always you can bake them the night before. Right. Just wrap oh. them and leave them in the okay. fridge, and then okay. brulee them right before you serve them. Right before you serve them, and again, not something that you just want to leave out like on a buffet table. Correct. Because otherwise, they'll be like all yes. melt. Okay. All right, let's torch it up, sister. <laughs> I love it. And now I know we talked part. about that we also are gonna have wine, so go ahead and torch okay. up. Um, I know that you all have, I love that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry I'm not talking, but I'm kind of, when there's <laughs> fire, I'm like, oh, fire. <laughs> and you just, oh, and you can smell it, starting mm -hmm. to caramelize. That is fantastic. And that's the best part, is that crunchy yes. part. And then you take off the crunchy part yep. and you dip it into the custard <laughs> without a fork. Yes. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Now, if you didn't have a, I mean, you have to kind of have a little flame to do this at home. If yes. You're gonna just, unless you want to stick it on the no. broiler, but yes. that you just make sure you absolutely have yes. to watch it. Okay, so real quick. A blowtorch is a necessity in any kitchen yes. anyway. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. And then they have little hand ones that yes. you can get. Um, real quick, then we're just going to touch base. You had a very successful wine around the world dinner. Correct. Last month. So this month. Reservations? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And what you're doing is um, featuring, what are you featuring at these wine dinners? Um, each uh, dinner is a different country. Okay. We're featuring the wines from separate countries. So we have ah. Italy, Spain, France. Um, our, the one last month was summer wines. And is there a food pairing with it then? There are, there is, um, we do have past apps, just oh, a yeah. few. Yeah. Um, and then you're more than welcome to stay for dinner I after. I love it. I love it. So make sure you call on that one because the one's going to be coming up soon. Correct. All right, great. Thank you so much again, Thank Megan. You. I really appreciate it. Hope the summer's going well for yes. you. Yes. And um, we will be back in just a moment.